So as I showed in the previous studio, uh, this is the login screen and I'll just do a quick login and then a log out. So this is actually a single page, it's the home page for the site and uh, when you're not logged in it displays this member login screen. When you're logged in it uh, expands the menus here and then it shows you what we're calling the dashboard that gives people access to the three lessons that corresponds to this course. So I'm going to go over here and in this uh, browser I'm logged in as an admin. I'm going to go right to this page and show you how this works. So what we're doing is we're using a Memberium shortcode and we're just saying if the member is logged in we want to display this uh, image and right now it's just an image there's no um, linking or anything and then we provide them access to these links there's no protection in here and um, it just gives them access to the three lessons that go with the course if they are not logged in we show the same image but in this case, what we do is we um, show them the member login, and the member login does a redirect back to itself after they log in. In addition, we provide a link to the log to the forgot password uh, feature. Um, if we go over there, you'll see that uh, you know this is a forgot la um, forgot password page. Um, you know, we we'll use the style. <coughs> We've used the styling that goes with the. Um, uh, with a theme for that and it's actually pretty straightforward. Memberium's got a nice short code uh, that makes displaying that page very easy. Um, so what you do is we just have a title for the page and we're using this short code. Now um, as far as the um, menus are concerned we're actually not doing much protection in other uh, courses uh, we've put together we have but what we're trying to do is show the layout for the course uh, in the menu and we're doing the protection at the topic level so that anybody who has paid for any part of the course and we've divided the course up into one, two, three uh, lessons, uh, anybody can see the layout for the course when they click into these different uh, pages they can see the learn dash topics that correspond with each of these lessons but um, they can't get into the topics themselves so if I go back over here and I go to the building uh, rock solid foundation this person is logged in and has access to all of these modules so we just don't have the course content all rolled out here uh, but as you can see they have perfect access here to everything. Um, however, this user does not have access to this last course. So they can see the outline for the topics that correspond to the lesson, but when they try to come here, it redirects them to the sales offer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab this URL. I'm going to type it in here so that we can see it in a browser that's logged in as the admin. So here's the course. I'm going to click into it. In this case, I will be able to see it. And then I'm going to edit this. So now that I'm editing this one, I'm going to go down here to the bottom and show you how we've set this up. So this one is set up so that it's protected. Um, it can only be seen if you have access to lesson three. And in the case, as we showed here, this person doesn't have access. So uh, when they try to dig into it, they get the sales page. So the reason that happens is because we've specified that if the person does not have access, the default action for that is to take them to the sales offer page. It's a really nice Memberium feature that makes it easy to just set up a page and then have it know what to do in case uh, the person does not have access. And it's just a really simple way to provide protection uh, for the page while at the same time um, giving everybody visibility to the content that they're missing out on. So um, that's part two.